Hello friends, welcome back. This is Anne from the blog HiddenFarmLife.com and today is part two of our tallow video series. So if you haven't watched part one yet, how to render the tallow and the different ways you can render it, I'll link that below and you can watch that one first. But today is the day that we are using our rendered tallow to make our tallow balm moisturizer. And I really don't have a lot of ingredients here. I have, um, I stored, remember, um, well, when you watch the first video, you'll remember and see. I rendered this um, beef fat into pure tallow, and I cut the cake up and I put it in the freezer. And it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. So I have this ready. I also have a carrier oil or um, like a, a liquid oil. And today I'm using jojoba oil. Um, it's non-comedogenic, so it's not going to clog my pores. I want this mainly for um, this balm, mainly for my face and my eczema. So I'm going to use this oil, and it's very emollient. Um, I ordered these jars on Amazon. You want to put anytime you have something that doesn't have any preservatives in it and essential oils, you want to use either amber or cobalt jars that do not allow sunlight in. And obviously I'm not going to sit this in my window in direct sunlight. And these little jars are so nice because they come with a little protector inside and to keep it hygienic, this little spatula so you're not dipping your finger into the jar, you're using the spatula. So we're going to use that to store our tallow balm when we're ready. I'm using my stand mixer. Some people like to use a hand mixer. Um, I didn't want to go out and buy something special. Um, if I like this and I start doing it um, more, I make more of it, which I'm thinking I might, I will then go and get a hand mixer and some, some equipment that's specifically just for making balm. I'm going to use my whisk attachment again. This is probably my most used attachment for my uh, stand mixer. I have a couple of utensils, just a spatula to scrape the bowl and a spoon to put the... Um, tallow balm into the jar and then I do have essential oils today and I use doTERRA I also use plant therapy um, you can use Eden's Garden anything that you know that is pure and a hundred percent you don't want to go to like your grocery store or Walmart and buy essential oils off the, the shelf because they're for fragrance they are not meant to go on your skin those are mainly for diffusers or if you, you put it in your the water that you clean your floors with, that's great. These are okay for your skin, but they are going to be highly, highly diluted. I'm going to do a 1% dilution in this tallow balm. And I have chosen today frankincense because it's, it's an ancient essential oil, it has anti-aging properties, and it's a very, very good oil for your skin. It's very calming and has a lot of earthy um, notes to its aroma. So I'm using frankincense. I also chose turmeric, obviously, for its anti-inflammatory properties. And it also has a somewhat earthy, woodsy smell to it. And then lavender. Lavender is very calming to the skin. It's used in, in many, many different applications. So those are the three oils I'm going to use today. And let's get started. The first thing we need to do is melt down some tallow and as I said or maybe I didn't say this is a four ounce jar and I only want to make one right now so what I'm doing is I'm going to take some of my tallow I want approximately a half a cup of melted tallow and I'm going to heat that on the stove on low I want to keep the temperature very even and consistent I don't want to burn this it's just like when we rendered it. We don't want to scorch the fat. I don't want to scorch it now as I'm reheating it. So I'm going to go put that on the stove. And when that's done, I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay, the tallow has been melted. Now I'm going to go ahead and measure out the half a cup that we need for this recipe. Perfect. That was, that was the perfect amount. And then to this, we are going to add an eighth of a cup of our jojoba oil. And I'm just going to add that into there. Now once these oils are combined, I'm going to go ahead and place them in the bowl of the stand mixer. And I want to get all of that out 
of my measuring cup. So that's really good stuff. And then, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I want to do a 1% dilution, and I have three different essential oils. So a 1% dilution for a half a cup would be 24 drops. So I've decided I have three. I'm going to do eight drops of each for a total of 24 drops of essential oils. So we have turmeric. And then the frankincense. And finally, lavender. And then I just want to stir that a little bit. And then once that is, oh, and it smells heavenly. Once that's combined, what I'm going to do is take this bowl, and you could put this in a different bowl, but I figured I'm going to mix it in here, so I'm just gonna use this bowl. I'm gonna place this bowl in the fridge to speed up the solidification process. So I need it to be um, not super hard and firm, but I need it to be solidified like a little, a little firmer than soft butter. So I'm going to put that in the fridge, and once that's done, I'll show you how to whip it up. Now that our tallow is pretty solid, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the mixer and attach that whisk and get this whipped up. So I'll turn the camera off and bring it in closer so you can see it as it's whipping. And then I'll stop it for a minute <clears throat> and I'll let the bowl down. And I will actually take the whisk off and I'm going to bang this on the side of the bowl to get it all mixed in and then I'm going to beat it up again. I'm just trying to scrape it down from the sides of the bowl basically um, breaking up those solids and incorporating <clears throat> air into the balm. So put it back on. Now that the balm is whipped, and I'm not sure if you can see this, it's like, it's like butter. So light and airy. I'm going to take that out of the bowl carefully. I don't want to make a mess. I'm going to take these are four ounce jars and I'm just going to put it in my jar, trying to get it all inside and not on the outer edges. And tallow made this way is pretty shelf stable. Um, if I lived in a warmer climate, I definitely would not keep it out on my counter. Um, but since I live in uh, central Pennsylvania, our weather is not severely warm. Um, during the warmer months of the summer, I probably will keep it in a cool place that's um, shaded. But for now, I'm pretty sure and I'm pretty comfortable keeping this on my vanity. So there you have it, homemade beef tallow balm moisturizer. This is so light and it's so creamy and it just feels amazing on your skin. Um, the, why, why am I doing this? Like I said, I have eczema and I'm going to take some before and after. I'm going to go ahead and treat myself with the uh, tallow balm and see what happens. And I'll let
let you guys know. I'll keep you updated. I'll probably be posting that on Instagram. I do a lot of posts on Instagram. If you're not over there yet, go ahead and follow us at hidden underscore farm underscore life. Um, we post a lot over there um, that we don't get to put on YouTube or that we we alternate. So let me know if you try this, if you want to try it, if you need help, if you have questions. Um, let me know. This is great. You know, tallow is very, very high in vitamins A, D, K, E, and B12. All of these things are really, really good for your skin. And they ha it has anti-aging properties, which, you know, at my stage in life, I'm really looking for. And, yeah, it helps your natural skin barrier. It retains moisture. Why, why wouldn't I? It's natural. So, until next time, take care. I hope you've enjoyed this series. Um, and... Let us know in the comments below if you like it, if it's helpful, if it's useful, what else you want to see. And remember to subscribe. Till next time. Bye-bye.